Another children can cook with the Nitoka Fesobi. I know you'll be wondering what is up with this my kitchen today. Today I'm inviting somebody so special. He's the one that loves invention and he likes creating new recipe. The man that loves that wants to make watermelon rice. And I made watermelon rice that was very sweet. Today he's going to come and show us how to make another of his invention. His creation. The recipe he wants to do today is his own. And it is pepper soup spaghetti. His name is no is Ade Oluwa Tofumi Fesobi. Wow. Hello everyone, I'm Ade Oluwa Tofumi Fesobi. And I'm here to show you how to make spaghetti soup. Wow. So, Papa, spaghetti soup, what do you need to make your spaghetti soup? Of course, you need your spaghetti, your fish, seasoning, seasoning onion, pepper, garlic, pe pepper, garlic, and you need your spices. Okay. So, what do we start with? This is water. You have kept some water on the fire. This is water for your spaghetti. Is it ready? What do you want to put in the water? First, for my spaghetti, first I need to put the spaghetti in the water. The water is not hot. Check it. It's not hot. It's not hot. So what do you need to put in the water? I need to put the spaghetti, but for my baby soup, I will put my stuff. Your spices. My spices and okay. my onions, garlic, pepper, and seasoning to fish to stop. Is your, can you please help yourself? Okay. And if you need a, a spoon for your spices, this is a spoon. Okay, a little salt. You don't want it to be over sweet. Mm -hmm. You want it to be salty. Yes. But is that salt going to be enough? Mm -hmm. You don't like salt, obviously. Mm, yes. Which one is this one? This is our pepper soup spice. Okay. This is the powder ingredient. I need to add a lot of pepper soup. I see we're making pepper soup, of course. To me, just more. I don't want it to be. Too brownish. I had in gumi. Blend sweated gumi. Rosemary. Grated rosemary. Okay. So, what else do we do now? Now, I need a spoon to mix it. This is this what you put. Okay, it's what you need coming up. Do you need any assistance? Yes, I need some to hold this sticker. Okay. Hi. So why do you like pepper soup spaghetti? Because I made it of course. Plus, 
I like pepper soup and spaghetti. Because pepper soup has pepper and seasoning and it's good for people who have things like diabetes, asthma, and uh, it is it. Spaghetti, why I like spaghetti is because of it looks good and it's okay for vegetarian. Oh, it's okay, you are a vegetarian. Nah, I'm not a vegetarian. Why do you now like something that is a vegetarian? Well, because some people are vegetarian, they are close to me, and some people, some people in the office were, were forced to become vegetarian because. That was the doctor was. Alright. So let's cut your onions. Let me give you your knife. We'll chop it off. Plus, when we are cutting onions, it exercises your eyes. Mm -hmm. When you when you when tears start to come out from your eyes, it's, it's exercising, it's to practice train your eyes so you can have better vision. Okay. I know there's something I know about pepper soup. What? It's good for people that just gave birth. Do you know that? I knew that, but I'm not sure about it. Ah, how are you not sure? Because even though they give pregnant women pepper soup, I'm not really sure if it's good, if it helps them. I'm not sure about that one. Well, it helps the people that are just giving birth. It helps them to lactate very well. It helps them to bring out milk. So that when their baby wants to suck the milk, there's plenty of milk. Especially yam pepper soup. You like yam pepper soup too? Yes. But this, this you see, this, my boy. He loves yam pepper soup. He loves spaghetti pepper soup. He loves plantain pepper soup. Anything that has to do with pepper soup. He just loves it. And I keep wondering why he just loves pepper soup. Because it's just like a And the thing is, he loves making them. It's not like he likes it and then he will not make it. He will even do it by himself. If you are saying, I can't do it for you, he will say, okay, I'm here. And you start doing it. So this is creation. Spaghetti pepper soup. You know, spaghetti is made out of wheat doron. And you know, wheat doron is one of the wheat, one of the side, um, the carbohydrates that our body can easily digest very fast. And then you're not taking it with pepper soup again. In fact, this boy will be very healthy. Hmm? So what else? Let's see our water. It's already getting ready. So should I help you or you want to do it by yourself? Okay, because I have a little and I don't like breaking it. I don't like adding it like Maybe that. Maybe we should all do a little because the what the pot is small. Yes. We need to the time. Should I help you? Yes. I think this is enough. For now. Okay. One of them then so you'll be able to fit inside. Okay, so I should just leave it. Yes. It will bend by itself. Yeah. Okay. Just just look at this boy. See they're just cutting his onions. You know, like I always say, children can cook. And you see this. Small boy that you think is small that is not small because it's always saying that he's not a small boy. So we should stop calling him a small boy. He's a big boy. The kind of creativity that comes out of his brain when it comes to food. At times I'm like, hmm? there was a day he said, "Mommy, let's blend, let's blend a fish." We have not boiled it. We said we should blend it. Fresh like that, and use it to make fish soup, fish sauce. And he gave us all the ingredients that we we're going to use. I say you should do this, you should add this, you should add this. And then by the time we finish everything, 
were very delicious. That a visitor that came to the cooking camp, the last year that we had cooking camp, was like, wow, this is very delicious. And then we now said, it is his recipe. You know, children can cook. And I think this thing is ready to put inside. Let me actually pour this. Inside the soup. Yes. Or you want to be by yourself? Okay. Anything can help. It's not everything at the same time. Okay. So that is called the pepper. I should call the pepper by for you. Then you have to call the pepper. I don't like touching pepper. Okay. Sorry. The only one is making you to cry. Oh, yes. I'm so sorry. But you don't said it now that onions exercise our eyes. And it gives you better vision. And it gives us better vision. So yes. It's open my eyes. It's open your eyes. So that's why it's good to cut onions. Yes. So you're advising your friends out there to cut onions. You're cutting onions all the time. Yes. Anytime you want to make something that has onions, cut the onions. And then? Yes. Okay. You don't give it to your. So your spaghetti is ready. Almost cooked. Almost so, ready. So thank you. Let me help you because this is hot. Yes. You can hold the fire now. Call it and also this spaghetti is hot or hot. Then we will be ready. Call an adult to help you to do this part. Hmm? It's time to and add our it to our pepper soup. It's ready. It's already. Everything is ready. Now time to add it to our left together. Should we taste our pepper soup when the salt is yes. ready? Or if the salt is too much? Of course not. Do you want to taste it? Yes. Hello, it was good. Is it salty enough? Mm -hmm. Should I add a little salt? The salt doesn't taste, it does give it a boost and let it taste. I should add a little salt? Yes. Okay, you can add this the quantity you want. The quantity you need. Just a pinch. Why not use a spoon? This our pepper soup is ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to pour this. This is not all the percent cooked. Yes, you have to cook it 50 percent and put it in, in the soup, soup for mm -hmm. it to cook the rest of the way. Okay. Now I will call it pepper soup spaghetti. Mm. Okay. So it's looking nice. Okay, this to just stay. Stay, stay, stay. Is this okay now? Just mm. a little more meeting. I don't want it to be like everywhere. Okay. So that like, so why you're eating, you'll be taking the spaghetti and the soup together. Time to serve our wonderful and beautiful meal. Oh, so. oh, this reminds me about okay, the days I used to I think we should make new inventions. They remind me about those days. Let's put some soup inside. You will teach us how to eat this soup. This with the soup. Okay? This is ready now. Mm -hmm. So, this is our spaghetti pepper soup. Mm -hmm. 
So again, show us how to eat it. I mean to I'm going to eat out of it because I don't expect it. You got it. <coughs> what you want to do is just mix. It's not like you are eating normal baguette, but you have to mix it in the soup, not in okay. the baguette. Okay, like this? Yes. Wow. Mommy does not know how to eat this. You have to take it from the side that has soup. Yes. Exaggerating. This recipe we have just done is his own recipe. The next edition, I'm going to still bring more children that have different potentials. They have that makes their own recipe. As I, I just want everybody to understand that children can cook. And how old is he? How old are you, my dear? Nine. He's nine years old, and he has been creating so many dishes. One of these days, I'll still call him back to come and teach us. How to make that is watermelon rice. And you will see, and you will agree with me, that the watermelon rice is very delicious and children can cook. Till we meet next time, if I am saying bye bye and children can cook. Thank you. Mm -hmm.